everybody, Radar here again with another World of Tanks gameplay commentary. Um, as you can see, I'm in my IS and um, the matchmaking isn't too bad. Um, looks like uh, I just have to worry Time about to some out. tier 8s. Uh, some decent looking tier 8s at that. My team does have a KV-4. And in this battle, it looks like that's a good thing. But um, as you can see, uh, my tank is just idling here. And <laughs> I'll get moving soon. There we go. If you look up, uh, my ping is was bouncing a bit at the beginning. And kind of throughout this, uh, this battle. But it shouldn't be the side factor as you will see um, again this is uh, pre-recorded using the battle in-game battle recorder for World of Tanks hence it is a little janky and uh, a little buggy if you haven't been keeping up with uh, World of Tanks uh, news and patch news and whatnot um, but we're gonna go ahead and pursue this I am doing the commentary now as you see, I'm just panning everywhere around here, and it looks like my team has done a pretty good job of uh, spreading uh, between the two points of the map. Though, as you may see, a T-44 decided to just duck away the back corner. You gotta watch for that, and if, like, I'm not sure if he sits there for the entire game, but if you do see that, or a player just kind of ducks away go ahead and report them as idle slash bot because that's just not cool all right looks like he is moving that's good and there is the enemy t44 moving up the hill um not presenting uh much of a threat at the moment but the t26 mean the arl face off against that's a different story. Let me go ahead and get to um, my actual combat view, what I was looking at and doing here. And as you can see, I could not really get a proper angle on that T-26. Not to mention that frontal armor on it is a really, you know, good defense for it. Alright, two mediums on the east side of the mountain. And my team taking the left pass is making contact heavies over there as well you see I'm not backing up again it's not it wasn't a good position to begin with to be there ARL is still hanging out up there so why he's doing that I don't know now I'm focusing off on the uh, east side seeing what's going on there and the type 28 pops up and that's when I was like nope not a good idea to be here so, I'm trying to find a proper position to which to engage the enemy. ARL is planning on toughening it out from up there, but he's not going to last very long. Alright, so we know the enemy is up on that part of the mountain. I roll up, line up a nice shot, and hit absolutely nothing really annoying thing with one of the tanks but you get used to it eventually I should have been a hit somewhere on that tank about ten minutes. but I get him with the second shot and now the prototype is trying to get cover so the T26E aka Super Pershing is engaging me you can see the frontal armor on that T28 prototype is actually quite sufficient for my 122 uh, cannon to bounce rounds off it. Again, no effect on target. The T26 kind of opened itself up to attack from the rear because it was focusing on chasing the kill, that kill being me. And that's also the death of the uh, T28 there. It decided that it wanted to chase after the kill and open itself up to get shot by me. A nice rear shot into the turret. Um, what you see a little bit is a... Um, you can actually sh damage the turret from the front 
by shooting underneath the little armored skirts, which you'll see shortly. I'm aiming underneath, and bam. Aim underneath that armored plate, that shield out in front of the turret, and it's, damage, it's a damage jur every time, so that's a good way to kind of deal with the uh, Super Pershings, T-26s. Uh, T-26E, I believe. Alright, so now I'm moving on to help the attacking forces in the uh, left valley here. Now, I had some worries about a few t uh, enemy tanks that weren't spotted. I was wondering if they might be hiding out somewhere around this small little uh, mountain formation here, but thankfully that was not the case. What you will be seeing is uh, a case of uh, a funnel vision on the enemy team's uh, part. Enemy uh, artillery, zero, missed, but it's alright. I kept moving on. I knew the friendlies were going to take care of it. Again, you don't want a funnel vision. Alright, and as you can see here, this there's been beaten up and torn apart. And they have no idea I'm up here, so I basically get down the down slope and start tearing them all apart. Alright, so I move in behind. They're not even paying attention to me at all. And I am rolling through and destroying each and every one of them, one at a time. And here's the third one. Bam! What was that? Three uh, heavy tanks, tier 7 and two tier 8s in about, what, 10, 15 seconds? They got photo vision and they got destroyed because of it. Now I just have to worry about the M12 artillery. One shot from that sucker would, will destroy my uh, tank, which is down to uh, a little under half health. So I'm at five kills. Um, let me go ahead and swap around here. Take a look at the team that pushed through the valley. I can see they're pretty beaten up themselves. They may not even have made it around the uh, that last corner there without my assistance. And all right, that is a victory for my team. A uh, well-fought battle for my team. Um, we did pretty well. Their AMX actually ends up getting into the base and killing one of our artillery pieces that uh, stayed behind. But um, still a victory for us. Um, good points. And um, yeah, that will be it for this uh, gameplay commentary. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some uh, good ideas and insights to uh, how to play your tanks. This is Radar 11X, and I am signing off.